Okay, here's another thing too. So, Mr. Kurt, um, I forever in my life have sought for the answers of how to run the human brain. For example, why not? When I close my eyes, why can't I just turn on as vivid of a dream as I as I have at night? And you can't. Nobody, I don't think anybody can. Now, you might have something that's easy to call up in that image, but I mean, seriously, why can't I just build one? Bing, 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 and put a tree there. And put it. Now, I have a very good imagination. I am able to build scenes like that, but it's, it takes a while, and it's a creative process. You know, and you do this for a story, and it's like, it's a process that goes out over weeks. Then after weeks and weeks and weeks, I can put myself in the little you know, place. On the other hand, sometimes I just go, hey, and it's, and it's just, it recreates. Now, why am I not more control? And it's like with this old 80s show called The Greatest American Hero, where a guy gets a superhero suit from aliens, but he loses the instruction manual. And that's what humans are like. And so part of the reason I want to back off the free energy, back off you don't need food, back off all of that stuff, back off I can visualize a flower in my hand if I picture it well enough, back off, not that some of that is, can't be true, we're about to have machines that we built with our mind that are going to do things like that, is that really any different, right? Um, but anyway, uh, back off all of that because the fact is we have an amazing, probably quantum computer right here. We need to focus on the practical things it can do to become sane because we're in a world full of insane people. We have a society where if you gave everybody stuff for free, they would trash it like crazy monkeys. Okay, So we have to get to the level of we won't trash it the freebies we get, the air and the, everything we get for free. We have to learn to be spirituality needs to emphasize how to be thankful for freebies you know that's that's a lot of what we lack and a big reason that that insanity because we're smart enough to see that we'll lose the freebies if we don't act with thankfulness so there's a real rationality that applies the reason we're not being rational i think is because we've let this uh, image brain our artists are insane we need to st sanify our artists by letting them express themselves and start listening to them so they don't feel so petulant and they don't and we just stop flooding them with violent gun imagery and stuff like that they don't like that usually um, and if they do there might be a problem um, but uh, I'm not saying that they don't want to see tragedy and all of that no they're very sentimental and I like to do that they don't like to be flooded you know with the same imagery, they get bored of that because they speak image language, you know, so it's, the novelty wears off. Um, uh, and, and they need to be, everybody needs to become more artistic and write poetry just for themselves and their family or write stories or make, you know, and it, this is happening because of the internet because more people can doodle and it's just lower impact or take photos, but it's harder to, to express yourself in photos. Most people just snapshot. But um, we need to speak the imagery language more consciously. And um, we will have superpowers over our own brains. Just the ability to be sane, to become sane, is a superpower over your own brain. The most mundane thing that we take for granted, we have not yet achieved, right? And so that's why I like the spiritual uh, nautilus that can, that I think you have feet, right? So uh, there's a lot of people that are just trees, and it's like, Okay, just create some shade in this spot, fine. Um, but you have feet, so it seems to me that it's like, dude, there's this mountaintop where the things that sound the most mundane, that's all we need. You know, a, a glass of clean water, you know, and, a, and, a, and, a, and how to help the multitudes be sane and ourselves be sane and to see we all have this problem. And to write a little, you know, a little instruction manual. Not to tell you where to go, but to tell you how to grow feed or use your feed or gain your balance and these kinds of tools that uh, people can sort out, you know, themselves, really. So, uh, you know, I do lots of videos on things people would think are way out there, but they think like thorium and, you know, this kind of energy ideas or that the universe is alive. Like I think the quantum, oh, that's what I left out of the other video. I basically think the quantum field is alive and uh, the quantum field has will, but mostly it cancels out. And so you have randomly, 
and it doesn't look like what we think of as will. But when it aligns, you get a phenomenon known as life, and it seems systematic. It seems to show intentions. It seems to have goals and criteria different from another organism by identifiable within that system to some degree. Right? So um, that's already pretty magical because our brain is... Uh, I think a quantum computer that's working with that field and that's why we feel conscious and it's a beautiful spiritual thing so we are it's, the world is made of spirit more or less you know it doesn't matter what you call it I mean in terms of the what does it mean it's not bits of clay bumping into each other it's not little gears and clocks it's bits of energy sloshing around and creating consciousness so the that's pretty amazing already if we just learn how to run that thing we don't need to suck energy from nature. We really don't. That getting energy is, is from food and our other means is not is not our issue. That that's we're trying basically we're trying to become sane. People are not sane. Okay, myself included, which is how I came to understand so much about how stuff, how the insanity works. You know, um, and it is possible. And I, I really think it's as simple as us listening more to. Uh, our artist uh, in the right with the right ear because you don't I don't think we should just listen to it and go I, I had a series of visions so it's true no listen to it as though you wrote a story and you're going to have to make another draft when you have series of images it's the same thing it's just the other side of your brain speaking Thank God you listen. Most people don't listen. But don't be too shocked. Let the novelty wear off and just become an expert in listening and rewriting it and editing it. That's good advice, man.